Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss Kohenen self organizing feature map with the help of a solved example. This is the solved example number two. Link for other examples is given in the description below. In this case, we have been given the self organizing map as shown in the figure. We need to use the square of Euclidean distance to find the cluster unit which is closest to the input vector 0 0.2, 0 0.4 here. So, input vector contains uh, two components, 0 0.2, 0 0.4. That is nothing but uh, two units are there to represent the input here. Uh, there are five uh, uh, classes or the clusters are there to which uh, this input vector should be assigned. That is uh, the one uh, cluster which is closest to the input vector here. Uh, we need to consider the learning rate as a 0.2 uh, to find the new weights uh, with respect to the closest uh, cluster here. Similarly, uh, we need to consider one more input vector with the learning rate as 0.1. Uh, we need to calculate uh, the winning cluster as well as we need to find the new weights in this case. In this case, the first input vector given to us is uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.4 here. Alpha is equal to 0.2. The initial weight vector is uh, given in this self organizing map only that is wij is equal to the weight with respect to y1 that is towards y1 we have 0 0.3 and 0.5 here so that is what i have written here towards y2 we have 0 0.2 and 0 0.6 that is what i have written here similarly i have written the complete uh, weight matrix in this case now given this weight matrix and the alpha as well as the input vector uh, first we need to calculate the uh, the square of uh, Euclidean distance here with the help of uh, this equation dj is equal to summation of i is equal to 1 to 2 2 because uh, there are only two um, uh, components are there uh, in the uh, input here wij is minus uh, xi bracket square so first we need to expand this equation dj is equal to w1j minus uh, x1 bracket square because i will be 1 in the first case next i will become 2 w2j minus x2 bracket square here now we need to uh, put the value of j here j can be anything in the range of 1 to 5 here because uh, five clusters are there in the first case uh, d1 is equal to w11 w11 is how much 0.3 minus uh, x1 that is nothing but 0.2 that is what i have written here bracket square w2j is nothing but how much 0.5 minus input that is 0.4 bracket square which is equal to 0 0.02 Similarly, we have to calculate D2, which is equal to 0 0.04, D3, D4, and D5. Once you calculate all the distances, we need to check the distance which is having the minimum value. In this case, uh, D1 is having the minimum value. The meaning is the input vector is assigned to the first cluster over here. Now, once you assign the uh, input vector to the first cluster, we need to update the weights associated with that cluster. The weight uh, with respect to Y1 is 0 0.3 and 0 0.5. We need to update these. To update these particular weights, we need to use this equation wij new is equal to wij old plus alpha xi minus wij old here. Uh, j is equal to 1 because uh, this input vector is assigned to y1 here. So we will put that uh, j is equal to 1 in this equation. The equation looks something like this. Next, uh, we need to uh, replace the value of i here. So the first time i is equal to 1. So w11 new is equal to w11 old plus alpha x1 minus w11 old here we know all these values we will put in this equation you will get w11 new is equal to 0.28 here similarly uh, i will become 2 here w21 new is equal to w21 old plus alpha x2 minus w21 old here w21 old is known to us x2 is known to us alpha is known to us once you put all the values you will get 0.48 as the w21 new here w11 new is equal to 0.28 w21 new is equal to 0.48 this uh, old weights will be replaced with these new weights the weight vector looks something like this in this case now we will consider the next uh, input vector that is 0 0.6 0 0.6 the learning rate given to us is 0 0.1 uh, again the input vector uh, looks uh, something like this wij is equal to 0 0.3 0 0.3 that is with respect to cluster 1 0 0.2 0 0.6 with respect to cluster 2 and so on Again, we need to calculate the square of uh, Euclidean distance with the help of the same uh, formula that is dj is equal to summation of i is equal to 1 to 2 wij minus xi bracket square. First, we will replace i is equal to 1 and uh, i is equal to 2. Next, we will replace j is equal to 1 and we will calculate the distance uh, with respect to first cluster that is 0 0.1. Distance uh, with respect to second cluster is 0 0.08. 
B3 is equal to 0.26, D4 is equal to 0.13 and D5 is equal to 0.2. Out of uh, these five, uh, D2 is uh, minimum in this case. The meaning of this one is second input vector is assigned to uh, second cluster here. Now, once you assign the input vector to the second cluster, we need to update the weights with respect to the second cluster that is 0.2 and 0.6, they are present over here. Again, to update the weights, we need to use this equation Wij new is equal to Wij old plus alpha Xi minus Wij old here. J is equal to 2. Uh, once you replace J is equal to 2, the equation looks something like this. Next, uh, we need to put the uh, value of i is equal to 1. Uh, this is how the equation will look like. And with, once you put all the values, you will get W12 new is equal to 0 0.24 here. Similarly, uh, we need to put i is equal to 2 here. Once you put uh, i is equal to 2, I end up put the values here. W22 new is equal to 0 0.6 here. W21 new is equal to 0 0.24. That is nothing but this is W21 old. It will be replaced with 0 0.24 here. W22 new is equal to 0 0.6. So, W22 old is 0 0.6, it is replaced with 0 0.6 again here. Once you replace these old weights with the new weights, the weight vector will look something like this. It will become 0 0.24 here and this will be again 0 0.6 in this case. This is the new weight vector after uh, assigning the second input vector to one of the clusters here. So, in this video, I have discussed uh, uh, how can we calculate the square of uh, Euclidean distance with respect to input vector and uh, how to assign an input vector to one of the cluster and update the weights associated with that cluster here. I hope the concept of Cohenen self-organizing feature map is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.